Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to work with the rate of change or the derivative of something, in this case, the volume of a ball, and relate that to how much the volume is actually changing. The change in the volume when the radius is a certain value and when the radius changes by a small amount. So we're going to relate the derivative to differentials and see what the difference is. So here we have the volume written as a function of r. If we now take the derivative of that volume with respect to the radius, we get the following. dv dr is equal to, well, we have the constants, 4 thirds pi, and then the derivative of r cubed is 3r squared. Now, when we simplify that, we can say that dv dr is equal to, because the 3's cancel, it will be 4 pi r squared. Now that means is that the change in the volume with respect to the radius is this equation 4 pi r squared and then all we have to do is plug in a certain value for r and we get the rate of change for of the volume with respect to r. Rate of change typically we respect we, we do that with respect to time but in this case it's with respect to the radius. Now what we're trying to find is the following. Let's say we have the ball pumped up or the balloon pump up to a certain volume, we'll call that the initial volume, and it has an initial radius r. Now we're going to change the volume of, of the balloon just a little bit, and of course the radius is going to change by a small dr, and then the volume is going to change by a small amount of dv, and so now we have the new volume here instead of the original volume. So what we want to do is we want to know how much the volume changed in this symbol. This triangle symbol means the change in the volume. How big is that change in the volume when the radius is 5 and the change in the radius is 0 0.1. And so here what you can see is that if we move the dr over to the other side and write this equation as follows, dv equals 4 pi r squared dr, then the dv and the dr really means the change in the volume and the change in the radius. So when do we use the delta symbol and when do we use the d symbol? Now the dv and the dr here really is meant, to, is meant for a very very small infinitesimally small little change. A very tiny change in the volume and a very tiny change in the radius. Now these numbers here are not really that tiny, 0 0.1 and, and then of course the, change, the appropriate change in the volume aren't going to be that small, but when we take derivatives, we're really talking about that very momentary change or that very specific change at a very specific instance with very small changes in the quantities, in this case the radius and the volume. But it's sufficiently close enough to saying that we can almost interchange the change in the volume by dv and the change in the radius by dr because if we keep them small enough it's close, it's a very good approximation. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plug in the value for r and the value for dr to get the change in the volume. So the dv when r is equal to 5 and dr is equal to 0 0.1, so literally what I'm doing now is I'm evaluating this change in the volume by plugging in these specific values for r and dr. And so that gives me 4 pi times r squared, that would be 5 squared, and dr would be 0 0.1. Those are given in the problem. So when we work this out, we get the following. So this is equal to 25 squared, oh, 5 squared is 25 times 4 is 100. So this is 100 pi times 0 0.1, and so it would be 10 pi. So what we're saying is that the volume of this balloon will change by a demand of 10 pi, when the radius changes by 0.1. Does that make sense? Well, let's find out. Let's go ahead and figure out what the volume would be when r is indeed 5. So the volume when r is equal to 5 is equal to 4 thirds pi, and that would be the quantity 5 cubed. Now 5 cubed is 125 times 4 would be 500 divided by 3. So this is 500 divided by 3 pi, which is about 167 pi. So we can see that our, our original volume is 167 pi, and then if we change the radius 
from 5 to 5.1, the volume will increase by an additional 10 pi. Is it going to be exactly 10 pi? No, of course not, but it's a very good approximation. What you could do is you can take a calculator, plug in 5.1 for the radius, and get the new volume. You'll find that it'll be approximately 177 pi. And that's why these equations are so handy. So not only can we use the rate of change to find how fast things are changing relative to time or relative to another dimension, we can also find out small changes by plugging in small changes in the, in the uh, well, in the units that the equation is made up of. And you can see that we can actually use the same equation, but just simply displacing the dv and dr, so turning them into differentials to get additional information like that. And that's how it's done.